Welcome to Fish 6, how to make an NFC coil. No same tune still. You just have to hum. Okay, so NFC coils. I'll start with a tiny one. This is a tiny, tiny, tiny one kilobyte uh, data NFC tag. And if you look very closely, it's made of a tiny coil of wire with a component in the center. That's pretty much all NFC tags are. Tiny coil of wire components in the center. Here's a different one. Really blurry. There you go, it's not so blurry now. Um, if you were to look at it under a microscope, you'd see that it has the coil. It has like a, a little LED and it also has, I think, some capacitors and possibly resistors as well, but I can't remember. And my eyesight is not that good. And the only photo that I have of it from under a microscope is at work. So, hey. Okay. You've seen what the tags can do. They can do interesting things when put in an NFC field. So this one can flash an LED, which is kind of cool. And the other one can trigger some kind of task. So the phone can read it and then try and do something with it. That one I haven't put any information on, so it doesn't do anything with it. So essentially, all of this one is, is uh, an LED, some components to make it work better, and a coil. So if we strip it down to the, the main bits, there's an LED and a coil of wire. So that's all I've got, an LED and a coil of wire, and we're going to try and make um, a coil. So. I know that my soldering is not very neat, so I know that with my coil of wire, I'm going to need some heat shrink to hide the ends. So I'm going to put two bits of heat shrink on, put it on before you solder it, otherwise you can't slide it up because what you're going to do is a bit of a closed loop, a circuit, obviously. Um, so I'm going to slide on those two bits and I'll use them in a bit. So with this wire, I can very, very simply make a coil. There we go. So there's a coil. With two ends to it and all I have to do is put the LED on the two ends and when I put the LED on the two ends then it should in theory work so I've already stripped one end and I'm just going to strip the uh, wire off uh, wire the plastic off the other end of the wire beautiful now it's somewhere in my living room who knows where so I've got two bare ends to this uh, coil that I've just made and all I need to do is solder on the LED, one onto one end, one onto the other end. <laughs> Live soldering action. Actually, I'm going to pause it while I go and solder it, and then I'm going to be totally blue Peter and go, and here's what I made earlier. And as if by magic, a soldered one appeared. You can see it's not the best soldering, but um, it's basically join the ends on to the bare ends of the wire. So all I have to do now is, in theory, roll up the heat shrink so that that can go over the joins and hide my beautiful soldering. So there's one piece over that side and I'll just bring the other piece up the other side of the coil. Not that I noticed which side was which, so I might end up with two pieces on one side. No, I haven't. Huh, it's a miracle. Okay, so there we go. So I've got two bits there. You see that's cool, come all untangled, but it doesn't matter. So all I need to do is shrink the heat shrink, which I'm going to do and everybody's going to tell me off because I haven't got any PPE or anything like that and I'm just using it near my fingers but I'm just going to shrink up my soldering iron for ease of not having to go and get a heat gun because the heat gun is something that I use for my um, crafting, bizarrely. I use it for making um, embossed artwork because you can get various plastics that are powdered and you can um, use a heat gun to melt those plastics onto your artwork. Anyway, so here we are. So there we are, that's basically it. It is one wire, one LED, two bits of heat shrink and a tiny bit of soldering. So if I just coil it all back up, hopefully, this is where I don't embarrass myself. Mind you, if it doesn't work, I just don't post the video. There we go. So there we are, one coil and one LED. And now the moment of truth. Is this going to light up the LED? Let's see. <laughs> so um, it's flickering in a particular pattern because that's the pattern that my phone sends your phone may send a different pattern when it's doing NFC if you've got an iPhone I think it's either just towards the top or slightly at the bottom but it's right on the edge if you've got um, any type of Android phone it's usually right slap bang in the middle and there's a little NFC logo that tells you where to hold it against so the more coils you get the better it is at picking it up I did try with a tiny bit of um, 
jumper jerky just sticking the LED in both ends but you can't get a big enough coil so that is not a big enough coil. You'll notice that this is a smaller coil but it has a lot more turns than that one does. That one you can get about two or three turns out of. That one probably has about 50 turns in it. This one has one, two, three, six, six turns in it. So it didn't take a lot to get it going. And as you can see, you get shiny lights. So uh, go and make one because it's fun, because you should. And also because it's like magic. Look, no batteries. Ooh, science. OK, I'm going now. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you go and make something because it's always good fun to make things. Um, if you liked it, like and subscribe and please comment on things because um, it's always good to know what you think and what you want to see next.